series of accidents on Garsfontein Road and 14 injured in Centurion taxi accident. I am Andrea Kuzel for Record Newspapers, looking at the stories that made headlines this weekend. Three separate accidents happened on Garsfontein Road on Sunday afternoon in a matter of hours. Netcare 911 spokesperson Chris Boerter said a motorcycle hit the side of a car near Delphi Avenue and caught fire. Two people suffered minor injuries. No one from the car was injured. An hour later, a pedestrian was left seriously injured after he was hit by a car near the Villa Boy Mariel Drive. After that, two children were also moderately injured in a three-car pileup on Garsfontein Road near the R25. The 13-year-old boy and his 10-year-old sister suffered fractures when the cars collided. Police are investigating the cause of the accidents. 14 people were injured when two taxis collided and one caught fire on the R55 in Centurion on Sunday morning. Swanee Emergency Services spokesperson Johan Pietersche said the accident happened around 8 a.m. when the two taxis collided head-on. One overturned and caught fire but the occupants managed to escape. One person was critically injured while seven others suffered serious injuries. He said six other people were treated for less serious injuries. The cause of the accident will be investigated by police. Police are investigated an inquest after a man hung himself in Pretoria North on Saturday morning. Police say the incident happened on Horn Street after a couple argued. The man and his girlfriend allegedly had an argument and the man left his house to go outside. Police say the woman then went outside but found the man hanging from a tree. An inquest docket has been opened. A truck driver was in a critical condition when his truck collided into the Gautrain railway trucks on Saturday morning in Makuniak. Swanee Emergency Services spokesperson Johan Pietersche said this happened on Loveday Street when the truck driver lost control of the truck. The truck crashed into the barriers and went down the railway lines. It ended up colliding into the Gautrain cement wall. The Gautrain service said none of their trains were involved in the accident. That brings us to the end of this weekend's top stories. For more information, visit Record Online. We'll bring you more Capital City news tomorrow. Be informed. Read Record.